Right, welcome back to the Tuesday build, although it's now Wednesday. <laughs> I mean, uh, I try to get the Tuesday builds out on a Tuesday and the Friday vlogs out on a Friday, but it's things don't always go to plan. Obviously, I'm a full-time carer, so that comes first. So I do apologise if you've been waiting anxiously to see what I come up with on a Tuesday. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I try at my hardest to get them out on time. Um, right, so today is something completely different. Um, we're going to make a ring. Now, we've got different options here. We can make it out of paper. We can make it out of wood. We can make it out of plastic. I haven't got any carbon fibre sheets, so I can't really make it out of that. Don't even know where I could get that from, actually. Anyway, it'd look quite cool, wouldn't it? So, just before I start, I am going to use the lathe, but <clears throat> amongst this video somewhere, I'm going to show you how you can turn your drill into a makeshift lathe. It's nice to have these things, but not everyone can, uh, can either afford them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can either afford them or, uh, or fit them in the space that they make stuff. So... Right, let's get to it, shall we? Right, there's a few things that we need to use, or we need to gather. Um, first of all, I'll start off. A while back, I was trawling through YouTube, looking at suggested comment um, videos, and I found a guy making rings out of um, strips of uh, wood. Um, and it was really interesting. I think he made one with a, oh, what was it now? It was a comic book. It turned out really well. Anyway, so this isn't my idea. I've kind of adapted it to use fabric and other strange materials. So things we're going to need for this project are a couple of sockets because we want a perfectly round um, mold for it, cling film because we want to coat these because we're going to be using super glue so we can get the ring off when it's dry. Um, different super glues, we need thin super glue that's going to soak through fabric and, and cardboard and things like that um, and then we need a thick super glue when we start to put a finish on it Activator isn't absolutely necessary, depends really. I mean, while it's warm outside like this, I probably wouldn't use Activator. Um, various grit sandpapers, I start at about 400, work my way up to 3000. Um, plastic polish, cheap stuff, I mean, 10 pounds, I don't remember paying 10 pounds for that, anyway. My wife's going to kill me. Um, and then, obviously, a way of polishing. So I'll, I'll apply the plastic polish to this soft roller. Um, and then I'll take it off with this one to buff it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need the, uh, the means to make the ring. So I've chosen two lengths of fabric. So this is about 10 mil wide, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to sand the sides down. This is like a glittery type of fabric. Um, this is the ripstop material that I used for my flags on my my trike. And, and then this is like a, a funky cardboard. You can use anything that will wrap around, okay, and that will soak up the glue. Right then, let's make a start. So what we need to do is start by by putting a bit of cling film around each of these. Right, so we've got a thin super glue. No, that's thick. That's thin. Right, 
Right, shall we do glittery side out? I think we will. Now be very careful with this super glue. <clears throat> if there's any kids out there that are watching, it is a chemical and you can get chemical burns from super glue. Plus you can stick your fingers together like I regularly do. <laughs> right, so the last one. Now I have no idea who I'm going to give these to, but I'm sure I can find someone. That will appreciate me sticking my fingers together. Okay, right, that one's done as well. You're probably wondering why I don't use gloves for this. It's because I don't think I'm stupid. But then again, I suppose latex gloves, I'll be forever pulling the bloody latex glove to pieces, I suppose. Right, it is time to get these off. Now, they are a bit of a pain in the backside to get off because they they kind of shrink, they get really tight. I found the easiest way to do it is with adjustable. Right, so yet again, my phone died and I'm doing this, talking away at, uh, at no one, anyway, right. So I'm just gonna quickly explain how, again, how you get these off of your molds. What I do, because they are really tough to get off, is, let's just try and put one back on, okay. So say that's on there, I get a adjustable, exactly this, set it exactly the same width, and then I get an extender and tap it until it pushes it off like that. It's about, it's about the best I can explain really, I mean it would have been better if you just actually, if the phone was recording you'd have seen it. So next step is to flatten all the sides. They've come out quite hard actually. But then we can see all that crap on there. That's a mixture of super glue and uh, cling film. So we're gonna sand that off now. Right, so when sanding super glue you must 
wear some kind of uh, face mask or something because it's it's not very nice stuff if you get it in your lungs. Oh, battery's going. Anyway, right, so I'm just going to explain about the, uh, the mandrel here. This is my pen mandrel, and what I've done is I've just turned down a piece of wood so that I can slide the rings over, and they, they just sit on that bit of masking tape there, so I can sand them and then polish them and buff them. Let's just try and pull this off for you. So there it is up, just shortened it a little bit, pop this bit of wood on, the ring will sit on the masking tape there and it will just spin and I'll sand the sides and the top then buff it, polish it then buff it, really simple. Now what you can do is if you get a piece of wood like this, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to pop this one on the lathe mandrel. Just like that. And then earlier on I did mention about, you don't need in a drill or any, uh, sorry, a lathe or anything like that if you can't afford one. So this is really simple. So it's a coach bolt, or lag bolt, I think it's a coach bolt, uh, that I've cut the end off, popped it in my drill and then this is just a piece of dowel that so you can slide your your ring over to work on. <laughs> can you hear my whirly gig? Let's kick it off. Right. So yep, yeah, there's the drill. I want it coming towards me. And all I'm going to do is put it somewhere safe and lock it down with a a clamp. Oop. So you need to be able to lock the, the trigger on your drill. Um, these Bosch ones are quite good because you can lock the trigger down and then you've, you've got an adjustment that you can speed it up or slow it down. So if we pop that on there. And there you go, just an idea for you. But beans I've got a lathe, I might as well use it, hadn't I? Looks a bit like snake skin, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, right.
Right, so I paused the camera while I got the rest of the coats on. Um, it's got about 10, 12 coats on that now. It's looking really nice, isn't it? It just reminds me of some kind of red snake skin or something like that. Anyway, I'll let that dry for a minute and then I'll start polishing. Well, I'll work up through the 2000, 2500 and 3000 grit, um, wet and dry. The, the, although this does say fabric freshener, it's not. It's just water, because you want to try and keep that uh, that sandpaper nice and cool. If you've got your fingers under it and it's dry, it will burn through the paper and onto your fingers. So keep it nice and cool with water. gorgeous or what yeah so the the cardboard paper funky kind of stuff is it's on the lathe almost done um, but the Fabric one, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. Oh, my size as well. I don't know if you can see that. It's solid as well. I'm going to take some um, some stills of this one because I like this one more better than the others. The I don't know, I just like it. Anyway, so I'll take some stills out in the sun um, for you to have a better look at. So, <laughs> now, the uh, the ripstop material had some kind of a reaction with the super glue. For some reason, it just won't dry. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's reacting. I don't know. So that's a fail. Yeah, still, that's a fail. So at least we know now, ripstop and super glue don't mix. Right, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the whole process of making this and, uh, and I hope I explained it um, so that you can have a go yourself. Now remember, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, share. Uh, I'm at 80 odd subscribers at the moment. I'd love to get up to 100 subscribers, um, but it seems to be going really slow. I'm not disgruntled, I'm enjoying myself, but yeah, I could do with your help. Anyway, I'll see you next week.